Hello everyone and welcome back to Indie Showcase, the segment where I review new and not so new indie games. And in this video I wanna talk about Dungeon Clawler. This is a rock like made by Stray Farm Studio, which does not have a release date yet, other than it being tentative for the fourth trimester of this year. I actually streamed this game a while back, but I decided to go back to it to record footage for this video. And just a friendly reminder that I'm on Twitch, and I do stream in this stuff all the time, so feel free to come hang out and do your thing there. Now, before I go fully into this game, I want to say that I've been on a rock-like kick lately, and for those unaware, it is my favorite genre when it comes to PC games, and the most recent one I've been playing and enjoying has been Peglin, which is a pachinko-based rock-like. And for me, what makes these types of games special, it's the fact that out of a simple concept as Bourbons as Permadeath and procedural levels, a lot of different concepts can come out, and don't need to follow the exact same dungeon crawling formula that games like Isaac or Enter the Gungeon have. And Peglin is a really good example of this, which is why I'm really excited about this new game right here, which is similar to Peglin, but instead of it being a pachinko based roguelike, it is based around a claw machine. As for now, this game only counts with a demo, and even said demo seems to be of a very early build of this game, as it still seems very unfinished, mostly in terms of animation and sound, as there are no sound effects in this game yet, and only has a singular loop theme. But let's see what this game is actually about, shall we? So this game puts your right into action. No backstory, no tutorial, you just select your character and straight into the game. Which, I guess it's kind of expected, considering this is still in its early development stages. This is a turn-based combat rock-like, with the player having to collect both attack and defense items from a pool that will get assigned and which is as basic as wooden shields that grant defense points and daggers that grant attack points. But as we progress into the game, we'll have the choice to add new items to the pool, which include, but are not limited to, swords, bigger shields, shuriken, etc. We even get a couple items that will help us grab set objects more easily, such as the water bottle, which will make the items float and for us to be able to grab them in a less convoluted way. Each room has not only the normal enemy levels, but also a couple gambling rooms with new objects that we can collect, and of course, a boss room at the end. This room also gets progressively bigger as the game goes on, with there being more enemy rooms, but also more gambling ones. Whether there's an item shop or not is something that I don't know, although it could be implemented by the developers eventually. The gameplay will also change depending on the character you start with, with Sir Bonalot having a basic deck and two normal claws, and I feel this character is perfect for brand new players who have absolutely no idea how this game works, because it's so basic you'll be able to enjoy other characters with different traits later, which is what I essentially did. And while Sir Bonalot is essentially the most basic character with no traits, a character like Felina does have a distinctive trait, which is a cat companion called Krimpov, which will deal some extra damage to the enemies. And there's also Scrappy, whose trait is replacing the second claw for a magnet, which will attract all the metal objects in the pool. And personally, I do feel Scrappy was the character I enjoy playing with the most, and also the one I got the furthest in with. Other than that, I haven't really checked out the other characters, but I do feel there's potential for many more traits there. But yeah, as I mentioned before, this game is still in early development, and with no release date, it does say it will release later this year, but if it does get delayed to make improvements, I will be totally okay with it, as I'm really looking forward to the full version of this game, and hope it's out being the best it can be. Once again, there is a lot to work on here. I will say the top priority will really be working on sound effects, as it does feel very empty with a single track, and I feel working with some placeholders at the very least will be the ideal thing for sure. Another aspect that I also think will get more treatment as the development goes on, and I hope it does, are the animations. The characters and bosses designs are fine, and I think for what it's worth they do their job. But just like in Peglin and other roguelikes, some basic idle animations will really be appreciated for now, just throwing my two cents out there. But yeah, this game definitely looks promising, and I'm very excited to see where Stray Farm takes this in the future, 
I really freaking love roguelikes, and I'm always glad to see new ideas being thrown out there for this genre. If you wanna play the demo or wishlist the game, I'll leave a link in the description. And yeah, thanks for watching, it's always a pleasure to give some love to the indie community because if anyone deserves that right now, it's definitely them, and I will keep showcasing games that I feel are worth checking out. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time. Bye!